Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be making the Celtic Cross in Illustrator today. So first we want to make sure we have our ellipse tool selected. And from a point of interest we want to hold Alt Shift so that way we draw a nice perfect circle. Uh, go ahead and swap fill and stroke so that way we have the stroke. Once we have that we'll go under effects, distort and transform zigzag and then we want to make sure our corners or points are smooth and we decrease the or get a comfortable shape with our zigzags right now for my current shape 0.1 in size with rigids per segment 4 is a comfortable size so you can scale that up as your circle becomes larger and it will still look pretty good. But for now, we're keeping to a small simple shape. So this, the 0.1 inch in size with a rigid per segment four is pretty good place to start. We'll hit okay. While our shape is currently selected, hit control C and then control F and should make a duplicate of that shape. Now we wanna open up our little transform tool up here and then select our angles or rotate and just rotates that smoothly up here so that way we have a nice live view of our rotation so i'm setting it to 18 percent but as you're working with the uh, different values that could differ from point to point i go ahead and close that down and then we're gonna lock these two ellipses in so that way as we're drawing more shapes they don't get impacted Next, we want to grab our round rectangle tool, starting from our center point of interest, which should be highlighted now that we have a circle there. Draw that shape out huge. And just, or for my example, I'm drawing it out huge, so that way we can go ahead and see how the rounded rectangle tool works. Uh, with the up and down arrow keys, you can transform that shape so the lower the R is, the more rectangular it will be. The higher that R is, the more uh, pod shape we have. So now hit the Alt and then create a shape you feel comfortable with. Have it drawn out there. And then once again, hit Control C and then Control F. And it should make a duplicate of that uh, shape right where it was. Grab the rotate. And for this, we want to hold shift so that way we can get that perfect cross. So now we want to go ahead and unlock our ellipses. Now, if you feel like things aren't centered right, you can always go back over, highlight everything, and then just hit our two center align tools here. So that way they, we know they're centered. Open up our stroke panel. If you don't see it here, you can go under window and then stroke and it should open that up. But I, since I already have it opened up, I'll go ahead and just start increasing my stroke. Although our chains feel good, our outer shapes still feel lacking. So we want to go ahead and go in with our select tool, shift, click both our pod shapes and increase the stroke from there until we get a nice comfortable shape or stroke. Then drag across and select all again. Object, expand appearance. That will show our how our circles are working and getting them proper. And then object, expand, and now we'll get that fill and stroke. Now that we have our fill and stroke and our shapes, we wanna go ahead, go over to our shape builder tool or shift M as a quick shortcut and we want to go ahead and or combine our shapes so that way they feel good so i'm going to go ahead and speed this up since this will take a while with the chains
So now that our shapes are now combined with our shape builder tool, we want to just go over real fast with a fine tooth comb, make sure none of, we're not missing any shapes. It does not seem like we're missing any shapes, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step. And that will be select all again. And then we're going to flip that fill and stroke here. So that way we get these outlined. And then either by tapping K or going over here to the live bucket tool, we can go into our shape here. And now once you do click this, you can't go back and use the shape builder tool again. But that is after we click this to turn it into a live paint group. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in our empty spots in black. Once again, due to the chain, I'm just going to speed things up. Now that our chain's filled up, we can now, uh, using the left and right arrow keys, we can switch our colors. So with Celtic Crosses, it's a very popular color combination to use yellow and green. So I'm going to make uh, the chain yellow. And once again, I'm just going to speed things up. And now for the other chain, we'll do a nice green. And for the big chain links, we're going to do a nice ripe purple. All in all, the colors really don't matter at this point since we're going to actually go into our recolor artwork tool that's up here hit our advanced options clicking our dash and turning it into arrow we'll now click in the empty space right next to it hit yes now harmony will see our black now if we go into edit we can see our current the color wheel and how it reflects go into harmony rules and you can click what har works with harmony so if we go analogous 2, oh god, that burns my eyes. Let's do something else. Now, to stay with the Celtic Cross theme, I'm going to actually go into High Contrast 3. Still burns my eyes, but not as badly though. But if we can go back into a sign, turn off that arrow back to a dash, we'll get our blacks back, and hey, that actually makes the image 10 times better in my opinion. Click OK and now we kind of have our Celtic cross. I hope this video was informative and everybody can take something away from it.